Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Theresa Slynn, and I'm your host for the evening. Thank you to our program partner, the Saskatchewan Writers Guild and Deb Sunchild Peterson, and to Heather Awatch for agreeing to share her talent and insights with us today. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that this program is coming to you from Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. On behalf of the Saskatoon Public Library, I pay respect to the Indigenous ancestors of this place and affirm our collective commitment to reconciliation. And finally, I'll introduce Heather for you. Heather Awatch is a Nakoda and Cree woman from Okanese First Nation, located in Treaty 4 territory. She's a graduate student and works in the philanthropic sector. Her passion for being a storyteller started at an early age with writing. Heather enjoys sharing, creating, and honoring stories of her own experience around culture, identity, and body positivity. As Saskatchewan Writers Guild Indigenous Mentorship Program alumni, Heather's upcoming children's book called Auntie Rez, Auntie's Red Surprise is set to be released in 2023. I'm excited to see that. Please join me in welcoming Heather. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I am just, uh, I, I thank you all for, first of all, for being here. Uh, Pinamaya, it's, it's, this has been really exciting to uh, have this opportunity to talk about something that uh, is a great passion and interest, both writing and uh, talking about our bodies uh, in ways that um, maybe we haven't talked yet before. Uh, and so <clears throat> with that, I wanted to do a few different uh, steps first before we get into the talking. One of them is I, I, I recognize folks have gotten uh, maybe I found a quiet place and maybe have headphones in um, and just to really connect with yourself in the next hour or so. Um, if you have a pen and paper, I know some folks like to write on an iPad, um, but if you have that, definitely have that uh, beside you. And another thing I want to talk about, which really helps me when, especially when I'm writing or speaking, is having a grounding item. Talking about our bodies is a really sensitive subject. Um, it can be hard, it can be um, deep, uh, and it can be ugly sometimes as well. But it also can be very joyful. It can be very comforting and loving and passionate. And so if you have a gra grounding item beside you, and if you don't, that's okay. Um, I, I invite you to think about something throughout the session that you're going to do after the session that'll help you stay grounded and nourish yourself. Um, I wanted to share quickly mine. Um, I have, so I'm not in my home territory, which is in Treaty 4. I am right now currently in the middle of Osoyos and I'm here for work, but I also uh, feel a little bit lonesome for home. Um, and so I have these set of earrings and they're a bear claw. Um, but the reason why I have them is because, well, they're beautiful, but um, for me, this item bring, makes me feel like home. It's, they're from an Indigenous artist in Saskatchewan. And, um, and so this is going to be my grounding item for tonight. And it's the only thing that I have besides myself um, uh, that, that is here with me right now that comes from Saskatchewan. So I definitely have this grounding item beside me. I wanted to do, um, in most settings, uh, I like to do introductions in either a breakout session or a chat with people. And in the world of virtual, the virtual world as we know it, sometimes it's a little bit hard, especially when it comes into an hour of gathering. And so I invite you today um, to do introductions a little bit differently, or if you're used to the Zoom, like most of us are, um, I invite you to definitely um, do this in the chat. And the chat, if you don't know where it is, it's located at the bottom there. I see some folks already have written into the chat, um, but it's at the bottom there and you just click on it and you can type away and send. Um, some of the things that I want to invite you to write into the chat is I'm going to click them, share them right now. And I invite you to introduce your name, your pronouns and where you live, work and play. And if you just write that in the chat, that way I get to know who's all here. Oh, perfect. I see Fallon had written that. Awesome to see. Um, and I can quickly share with mine. I was already introduced, but my name is Heather Owatch. My pronouns, it's in my um, title, but it's also she, her. And I live, work, and play in Treaty 4 territory, but I'm working right now in uh, Soyos. 
So I'll just give you a few, few minutes to do that. And it's just really a great way to connect with folks. I love being in sessions where we often don't get a chance to connect with one another in conversation, but it's nice to have that connection, get to, getting to know where folks are from. Um, and also for the participants as well, that we can get together and say, hey, I know this person, or hey, this person's from there. Um, and uh, like, for example, Marilyn, Marilyn and me and Marilyn are in the same writing group. And so it's nice to see Marilyn here today as well. Perfect. Oh, awesome. Awesome, Thomas, Cecilia, Laura, Fallon. Perfect. Awesome. Well, I'll continue to read that throughout the session. Um, perfect. Carol, Cassie, Liberty, Marilyn. Awesome. Nice to see. Uh, and I invite you to engage through the chat as well. Um, if I don't by chance see anything in the chat, um, definitely uh, Teresa will have an opportunity to share that with me. Um, and then there'll also be moments uh, after the end of the session for questions. I really want to start uh, in the next a couple of minutes to sort of start our our break um, our break from the pen as I want to start with asking you two separate questions and these are just questions you can write down or you can write in the chat if you feel um, or write in your pen and uh, on your notepad and the first question that I want to ask you today is the sentence prompt is going to be this so I'm asking you arriving here today I am feeling I'm going to ask you another question. The second question is, or the sentence prompt is, I want to give myself permission to. Well, I invite you, if you haven't finished your sentences, to definitely come back to them um, when there's a time that feels right for you. Um, and you don't have to share your sentences as well in the chat. And I welcome that if you do. And if you if you don't feel comfortable, no worries at all, as long as you've written them down or are reflecting upon them. And that's sort of what today is to give you some prompts um, for that. We're gonna go into the next section. And this is our activity number one. And I think part of the reason why I wanted to share this activity today or this writing activity is um, when I was first shared it um, from someone there were different questions. And I felt that the questions that was given weren't, weren't what I was needing. And so it took me a while to think about some of the questions to ask today. And um, I invite these questions for you to really think about what you wanna say and be very free willing in them. So the prompt is gonna talk about moments your body felt. And you're gonna think about the sensations, the feelings, maybe the sounds, the memories um, of how you felt in those moments. I'll start with the first one. Moments your body felt joy. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be a, a complete list of things that your body felt when it felt joy. Um, it could be a sentence, it could be one or two. But I invite you to come up with a couple of ways in which your body felt joy or moments that, that your body felt joy. Think about when it happened. Think about maybe the activity that you're doing, maybe who you're with. I'm going to go on to the next one. The next one as well, I'm going to ask you to make a list. The next one is moments your body felt overwhelmed. I'm gonna go into the next prompt. Moments your body felt anger. I'm gonna go into the next prompt. <clears throat> Moments your body felt appreciated. When you're done with that list, I'm gonna ask you to do one more. And it's moments your body felt peace. Moments your body felt at peace. When you're done with that list, you're going to see that you'll have a list of five different prompts and maybe a couple of things and moments in, in each of these lists. I want you to go through each one of those out of them and pick two. 
I want you to pick two out of all of the five different ones. So out of your full list of all of these moments, pick two of them. You can pick one from joyful, one from appreciated, vice versa. Just pick two out of the full list. Once you have that list of two, I'm gonna give you five minutes to start with for the first one. I want you to take that one item out of the two and just go into description of what that moment felt like. Where were you? Who are you with? What made you feel that way? How did your body feel, your physical body? Maybe if you're angry, how did that feel? Did you feel shaky? Maybe if you're joyful, did you feel light? Did you feel like laughing? Tell me a little bit more or tell the paper a little bit more about that. What did it feel like? What was the surroundings? Where were you? As we're coming out of that second prompt, I invite you to write in the chat, how did that feel? Did the first one feel harder to write or easier to write? How did the second one feel? And why did you choose those prompts? You can write a brief question or a sentence in the chat, or maybe just a, a feeling that you're feeling right now. Mm -hmm. Cecilia wrote, the first one was harder to write, but necessary to lead into the second prompt. Thank you, Cecilia, for writing that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fallon. I picked the two prompts that had the most emotion attached to them. They were vivid in my memory. Thank you for writing that down. Mm, Laura, second one was harder for me. Chose an easier, more positive moment for the first one and more difficult for the second one. Writing about the second felt prickly and sharp. Mm, such a description, prickly and sharp. I wrote white prompts as well. And I think the first one I chose really emotional. And, and then the second one was more of a lighter one. It's heavy. It's heavy to write about our emotions and where we felt, especially when it comes to memories. Our bodies remember a lot more than our minds do most times. And it's um, a lot easier to remember a reaction than it is to remember a moment. I'm going to talk a little bit about the second activity and um, how it's going to work a little bit. It's going to require me to share my screen. Um, so you might not see my face. You'll see the screen for a little bit. Um, but there is good reason behind that because this one is quite my favorite activity to do. And I like to do it with little kids. I did it with my niece, and my nephew. Um, it wasn't as intense as this, but uh, they liked it because of the different forms uh, of ways in which you can write um, these prompts. And so the first one, this activity is going to be called Forms Galore. And I'm going to give you a list, uh, much like the first prompt, where I'll give you a, a a prompt and you'll write different lists and then I'm going to give you a separate list and you're going to kind of marry those two lists together um, in a way that is going to be uh, creative and inspiring and I'm going to give the uh, opportunity for you to sort of pick the second list more than the first one as well. Um, so I'm going to share my screen if I can. Oops, what did I do here? 
I might be able, I'm just going to share it like this and let me know if you can see it. Mm, can you see my screen? Yes. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Let me get, let me know if you can. Yes. I don't know. If I, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So I'm going to give you um, this list here and you're going to go with uh, body alterations, the first one. So I want you to write down as many as you can. And if you can only think of a few um, different ways of body alterations. Now, this doesn't have to be things necessarily that you have experienced. Um, maybe you have never gotten ear piercing or things like that, but just list off the name of different body alterations you can think of. I'm gonna give you the second list uh, and it's expressions or acts of creation. So think of some ways that, um, that show expression or acts of creation. And when I say acts of creation, I, um, one example could be painting, using a paintbrush. The next prompt is pain and pleasure. The next prompt is places that your body has traveled to, places where it's been. And the last prompt is activities that you wanna do next activities that you would want to do next. <clears throat> All right, once you have that list, um, I'm gonna go into the next one. And this one isn't necessarily a list that I'm gonna have you um, think of, but actually pick from. So I'm gonna share this list here and I want you to pick your top five. So in any, no, no particular order, just pick your top five. And I'll quickly name them just so I, I don't know if you could see it enough, but I'll name them anyways. Uh, first one is recipe. Second one is instructions, a love letter, a toast, a postcard, a song, a map, bathroom wall wisdom, erotica, a confession, a dear diary post, a tweet, an obituary, a bumper sticker, a letter of resignation, a mission statement, A town slogan, a rap, a mantra, a horoscope, and a riddle. So once you got your top five, I want you to, if you have access to the chat, can you please list the top five in the chat? And if you can't, um, let me know if you don't have access to the, to the chat button. Um, now, if you wrote in the chat, and if you haven't, no worries. But if you have wrote in the chat, I challenge you to do this. I challenge you to look at the person's list below you and pick one of them. They It might not be one that you, you prefer or like, but pick one of them out of that what they wrote. So pick one of them from the person below you. If you're at the top, pick below. And if you're at the very bottom, pick the top. And if you haven't wrote in the chat, um, that's okay too. What I'm gonna get you to do is pick the least favorite one that you wrote. It's always challenging when you don't do the one that you most desire to do, but I think it's a good opportunity to get familiar with it. 
So once you pick that, I'm going to give you a few minutes. I want you to take out of the topics from the very beginning, one of them and using that one form and, and marry them. So you're going to pick one topic from all of the lists that you had in the previous list of, of the, these, just one of them out of a full list. And you're going to pick one of those in the chat from the bottom of the other person's list and you're gonna marry them. So you're gonna take that topic that you chose, the one that you chose in your choice, and the one that maybe I told you, <laughs> your least one or the one from the bottom, and you're gonna marry them and write something. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that. I'm gonna ask you to come out of that now. You know, we have a few more things to do, but I encourage you, to if you can take a picture of this list or if you want the list later, let me know and I could share it as well. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to go through the list and and uh, do one of the forms. I always find them a little bit fun, especially the unlikely ones. I normally would write like a bumper sticker or maybe a mantra or the bathroom wall wisdom. It's, it's kind of neat how you um, don't often get the choice to write something and you come out with this beautiful topic or this beautiful uh, sort of recipe or toast. Before we get into the ending of our program, I want to leave some minutes and time for questions at the end, but I also wanna end you off with one more question to ask yourselves. And this question, um, I was asked it once from an unlikely person and it really sat with me. And so I invite you to sit with this question as well. The question that I wanna leave you with is, how is your body feeling about you? Once again, thank you for allowing me to be in this beautiful virtual space with you. I hope that um, you have that grounding item or that you've thought about something that you want to do at the end of the session this evening to nourish your body. Maybe it's taking a bath. Maybe it's writing some more. Maybe it's sharing a story with someone. Or maybe it's just lighting a candle, having a glass of wine, or it could be, you know, catching up on your favorite TV show. Do something that'll help nourish your body. Thank you so much, Pina Maya. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, I really uh, appreciate the space you gave everyone to, to do their writing and in such a supportive environment. Uh, so if you have any questions for Heather, you can add them in the chat or you can just uh, unmute yourself and say them out loud. Heather, I have a question. What's your favorite genre to write in? Poetry. Mm -hmm. If we had more time, I would, I would bust out a poem. Marilyn and me are in a poetry club together, and, mm -hmm. or a writing group, but I write poetry a lot. And um, so that's my favorite genre, is I like to write in poem. Is Auntie's Res Surprise uh, a children's book or a book of poetry? It's a children's book. Yeah. Um, that's another genre that I, I enjoy writing. It started out as, a, as a, a dream to write a children's book so I can get into more writing. And uh, yeah, Ch uh, Auntie's Red Surprise um, won a contest and now it's getting published. And it's given me the confidence to uh, start writing more, more different forms, including poetry. Mm -hmm. Um, Auntie's Red Surprise will be out in 20, early 2023. Mm -hmm. It's being published by Second Story Press, oh, nice. uh, a publishing company out of house out of uh, Toronto. Good. Oh. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for joining us. It was such a pleasure. Thank you, Heather, and thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. Take care. Good night, everyone.